Welcome, my dear students of Grade 4 Mathematics lesson of St. Peter's College, Kalamu 4, Negamu branch. Well, my dear students, today I am going to do your maths lesson. First of all, I would like to tell a story. Once upon a time, there was a building. This building bought 2,546 bricks to construct a house. After a week, he found that he needed 1,235 some more bricks. So, my dear students, now we are going to find out how many bricks did he buy in all. So, let's see some pictures. This is the builder. We know that children, he needs some more bricks to make this house. So, to find the answer, we need something. Yes, my dear students. Using addition, we can find out how many bricks that he needs all together. So, these words are very important for the students because Addition gives us sum of total. So when you're doing addition, it's uh, you can understand this word is very familiar to us. And addition is the process where we put objects together. As an example, if I am keeping small books on a table and there are, I can see some more big books on the other side. So, if I want to know about how many books are there all together on my table, I want to add these two numbers. But, you have to remember children, adding numbers is not just easy thing. Before you add any number, you should have to know about the place value of each number. If you are not writing in proper places, we cannot get correct answer. Now let us see how to add four digit numbers. So, adding four digit numbers with carry forward. I think you all have your study bags. So you can take it into your hands and I am going to explain the first example. Please. Observe and look at this problem. Yes, my dear students. Now, here you can see there are two numbers that I am going to add. Before adding any number, first of all, now we are going to see the place value of each number. Now, let me going to show my place value house. In my place value house, there are four rooms. You can see, in each room can stay only one person. Like that, when you are writing any number, only one digit you can keep in this room. So, we are starting to introduce each room. This room we call it once, and then we call it as tens room. And this is the hundreds room and this is thousands. So these are the places of a number. I told you today I am going to teach you adding four digits number. So you can see there are four places in this number. So once again I am going to show the places. Ones place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands. Now my dear students. I am going to place this number into correct places. Let's see. Yes, there are in this number 2546. In this number there are 6 ones and there are 4 tens and there are 5 hundreds and there are 2 thousands. Shall we go to the next number? Yes. In this number, there are five ones. 
Can you see how many tens are there? Three tens. And how many hundreds? Two hundreds. And one thousand. So, shall we read this number? Yes. One thousand two hundred and thirty-five. Okay, my dear students. Now, today we are going to do addition. Before you add any number, I told you we have to focus about their places. So, my dear students, once again I have placed each places. You can see first place is one's place, tens place, hundreds place and thousands place. So, now I am going to add these two digits, 2546 and 1235. Before we are going to add, we'll place the first number into our places. Right. Now I am not going to place the digits. By using blocks, I'm going to show this number. So we can show this view. In this number, is it singing? There are six ones, there are four tens, there are five hundreds. And there are two thousands. Shall we read this number? Yes. Two thousand five hundred and forty-six. Is it clear? Yes. Now I'm going to present the second number. Shall we read the second number? One thousand two hundred and thirty-five. I'll show you. Yes. In this number, there are only five ones, three tens. 200 and 1000. So we can read it 1235. Now we are going to add these two numbers. Before I'm going to add, I draw a line. Let's see how we, when you're going to do addition, you, you have to start from always, you have to start from one's place, children. When you start in any addition, we cannot start from thousand place. You have to start from one side. Right. Now we are going to count each blocks. Shall we count? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. There are no eleven blocks. But we have a problem. Do you know that? We cannot keep two digits in one place. You know that. Number 11. When you take number 11, it has two digits. So, my dear students, we cannot keep that. Do you remember our place house? We keep only one digit in each place. So, we have to see that. What are we going to do with these things? Yes, my dear students. When you take number 11, we can say 10 plus 1. It has one ten and it has one ones. You know that if if it is have tens, you have to carry forward to the tens place. Now I'm going to carry them. And it is there. Yes, because they are ten blocks. Right. Now there is a new count. Let me count all the other green. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there's only 1, 8. So, there are 8 tens. Is it clear? Yes. Now let's count all the hundreds. How many hundreds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 hundreds. Can you see? I'm just counting all the hundreds. Now let's go to the next column. That is 1000 place. Shall we count how many thousands are there? 1, 2, 3. Yes, there are 3 thousands. Right. My dear students, now I'm going to add same number by using digits. Yes, this number 2546. 
What's this number? Can you read once again with me? 2546. Let's go to the next 1235. Can you see children? I have placed each number in proper places. It's, very, it's important for you to write in proper places before you do addition. Otherwise, we cannot get the correct answer. Right. Now, there are two numbers. 2,546. 1,235. Now, I am going to add these two numbers. So, before you do addition, to get the total, we have to do some more things. First, we have to draw one line before it. And then, for the answer, we have to draw two lines. These things are important children. And you cannot forget this mark, plus mark. By looking at this mark, we know that you, you are going to do addition. Right. Now once again, we are going to do the same addition by using digits. Let's see, from which side we are going to start doing the addition? Yes. We have to start from one side. So my dear students, what are the two digits that you have to add? Number 6 and number 5. When you add number 6 and number 5, you will get the answer number 11. Oh, oh no, they have a problem. See, there are two digits. Can you keep two digits here? No, we cannot keep because we know that each place we can keep only one digit. But how we can see there are there are eleven. So in this number eleven, it has one ten and one one. So I'm going to take this one and carry to the tens place. Now we can see there are three digits to add. So it's easy. Let's add. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. So my answer is there. You have to write it straight. Next, we can go to the next place. Hundreds place. What are the numbers that we have to add? 5 plus 2. When you add 5 plus 2, it is in 100 place. So you have to write the answer here. The answer is 7. Seven hundreds. Then we can go to the next place. Thousands place. What are the two numbers? Two plus one. So answer is three. So this is this is where we can do addition. So I got the answer three thousand seven hundred and eighty one. So it's very easy when you're doing addition in this way. We have to remember the places. You cannot change their places. It's very it's important to write each number in proper place. Right. I think you all have your study bags. In your study bag, the first example. Now I'm going to do the first example. Right. Once again, I have written all the places because it's important thing. Without know about the places we cannot do it children. Right. You can see ones place, tens place, hundred place and thousands place. So these are the two numbers we are going to add. You can see I have drawn the line and for the answer I have. You can see there are two lines. Eight plus nine. Yes. We are going to add these two digits. 8 plus 9. When you add 8 plus 9, the answer is 17. So, when you look at 17, it has 1 10 and 7 ones. So, 10 plus 7 is 17. So, you can see this number 10, you cannot keep it in one place. You have to carry to the 10th side. But this number we can write in one's place. So my dear students, we'll do it. I'm taking this one to the tens place. 
and I'm writing seven in one place. So I have finished. Next, when you go into the next column, that is tens column. In this column, now there are three digits. Shall we add these three digits? Yes. Six and one, seven. Seven and two, nine. So these are the three digits that you have read. The answer is nine. Right. Now we can go to the next place. That is hundreds place. In this place, we can see five plus three. These three these two digits we have to add 5 plus 3. Yes, the answer is 8. Next, we can go to the thousand place. These are the three, uh, two digits we have to add. 3 plus 2, the answer is 5. Right. Shall we read this answer? 5897. 5897. Now this way you also can do your first example. Right. Now I am going to talk about the second example. Once again, I am going to write these numbers in proper places. Yes, with blocks. You can see the first number is 4286. When you look at 4,286, you can see there are four thousands, there are two hundreds, and there are eight tens, and there are six ones. This is the number. We go to the second number. What's this number? 3,141. Yes, there are three thousands, one hundred, and four tens. And there is only one once. What are we going to do now? Yes, we are going to add these two numbers. Before that, we can we have to draw this line too. Yes, we first of all we have to start from one side. Let's count all the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven ones. Now which place we have to go? Yes. The next place is tens place. Shall we count all the tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 tens. I told my dear students, we cannot keep two digits in this place. So we have to carry that tens to the hundred place because the next place is hundreds. So we first of all we have to count how are there are ten tens. Yes, we count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By using them ten sticks, we can make a hundred. So we are going to make 100. Yes, you cannot see now because it's moving to the next side. Yes, that means 100 place. Now there is a new one. So let's count 100, 200, 300, 400. Yes, there are a four. Now you can see the thousand place. We are going to count each place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 thousands. We can count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 thousands. Shall we read this answer? 7,427. Now once again, I am going to do this addition with numbers, with digits. Please read this number with me. 4,286. My first number is 4,286. Let's go to the second number. 
3141. The two numbers are there. Can you tell me what do we have to next? Yes, you have to draw a line before the answer. And for the answer, we are going to draw two lines. And next, you cannot forget this sign, plus mark. Right, my numbers are in order. That means proper places. In ones place, tens place, hundred place and thousand place. Now, I can do my addition. Yes, first we are going to add six and one. Because we know that always when you are doing addition, we have to start from one side. Let's add these two digits. 6 plus 1. 7. The answer is 7. Now, we have to add next two digits. That is 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4. The answer is 2. My dear students, I told you, we cannot keep two digits in one place. Yes, we have a problem here. So, we can do something. What do you have to do? Yes, you have to take, when you take number 12, it has 120. 12 times means 120. So, there is 100. You can't keep 100 in tens place. You have to carry 100 into 100 place. So I'm take, going to take this one to the 100 place. And then you can keep only number 2. It's clear. Now, in 100 place, we can see there are 3 digits to add. 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1. You can add that home and give me the answer. The answer is number 4. Now we have finished 1's place, 10's place and 100 place. Right. The last place is 1000 place. What are the two digits that are we going to add? Yes, number 4 and number 3. 4 plus 3 is the answer is 7. So there are 7000. Now we are going to read the number. 7,427. This is the answer. The same addition, now I am going to do it in this table. By using this table, same way we can do the addition. Right, once again, I, you can see the places are there. I have written all the numbers in in their columns, we cannot change them. Right. From which place are we going to start it? Yes, from one's place. What are the two digits? 6 plus 1. You have to add. Yes. Can you tell me the answer? Yes. The answer is 7. Right. We can go to the next place. Next column. That is 10's place. What are the two digits? 8 plus 4. We have to add. The answer is there. 12. But you should know about 12 tells me 120. 12 tells me 120. Now when I will show this number in this way. There are 100 and there are two tens. That means 20. So, when you add 100 plus 20, we can get 120. So, we can see this 100 we cannot keep in distance place. But 20 we can keep in distance place. But when you write 20, you don't want to write number 20 here because already we know that in this place we are writing only 10s. So, just if you can write only number 2, it's enough. But we cannot keep this 100 in here. We have to carry it to the 100 place. We now we going to take this 100 to the 100 place. We can write as a 1 digit. 
You can see that one. Now, there are three digits to add. Let's see that. Number one, plus two, and one. Can you see these three digits? Yes, we have to add these three digits. Don't forget about it. Let's add one plus two, three. Three plus one, four. The answer is four. Let's go to the next place, that is thousand place. What are the two numbers that you have to add? Four plus three. The answer is seven. So the you can shall we read this number? Yes, my dear students. Seven thousand four hundred twenty-seven. Now it's easy for you to understand if you are adding any number in these columns. That means in proper place, it's easy for us to understand if you are adding any number. Let's move to the third example. Once again, we are going to do the addition in here. So, I have placed each place in here. Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. What are the two numbers that are we going to add? You can see the two numbers. I will read 1421. First, we are going to add with blocks. Yes, you can see these numbers. See, 1421. Okay. And this is the next number. What's that? 1732. 1732. These are the two numbers that are we going to add. First, I have to draw a line. Let's count. From which side? Yes, from one place we have to start. There are three blocks. Let's count it. One, two, three. Okay. Next, you have to write all the tens. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are five. Next, going to count all the hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, you can see there are eleven hundreds. Do you know that we cannot keep eleven here? That means we have to take this ten hundreds into thousand place because by using this ten hundreds we can make one thousand. Let's see that. I'm going to carry them to the thousands place. Thousands place. Only one left here. Yes. You can see only 1000 here. Now we can write, we can see the next 2000. Yes. Now all together, how many thousands are there? There are 3000. Shall we read this number? Yes. 3100. How many tens? 5 tens, that means 50. 53. What is the answer? 3,153. This is the answer. But once again we are going to do the addition with numbers. Please read the number with me. 1,421. This is the first number. Let's go to the second number. 1,700. 32. These are the two numbers that I am going to add. Yes, we have to draw the line and we have to draw the two lines for the answer and remember the plus mark. Right, the numbers are in order in proper places so now it's easy for us to add these two numbers. 
him start from once again from one side. What are the two numbers that you have to add here? Yes, the two numbers are number 1 and number 2. Then you add 1 plus 2. Can you tell me the answer? Yes, the answer is 3. It's clear. There are no digit, two digits. So, we can write it. We can keep it here. Well, now I am going for the next place. That is tens place. These are the two numbers I am going to add now. 2 plus 3. The answer is 5. So, we have finished that one. Let's go to the hundred place. Right, my dear students, now once again we are going to add four hundreds and seven hundreds. Let's add these two digits. The answer is eleven. Yes, we have a problem once again. We cannot keep two digits in here. So, we have to carry this one to the thousand place. Before you carry it here, you have to think why are we going to carry this number? My dear students, 11 hundreds mean that means 1100. So, 1100. Can you hear that number? 1000. We cannot keep thousands in 100 place. We have to carry them into 1000 place. So, that's why I am going to carry that number into 1000 place. Now it's clear there is only 100. We take them 1000 to the other place. That means 1000 place. Let's add these three digits. 1 plus 1 plus 1. What is the answer? 3. The answer is 3. Shall we read the answer? 3153. The answer is 3,153. Okay. Let's do the addition once again. Same numbers. Starting from 1's place. 1 plus 2. These are the two numbers you all have to add. 1 plus 2. What is the answer? The answer is 3. Yes. Now we have to move to the next place. That is tens place. 3 plus 2. What are the two digits that you have to add? 3 plus 2. Now I have to write the answer in proper place. That means tens place. The answer is 5. Next. These are the two digits that I have to add in the next column. That is hundreds column. 4 plus 7. The answer is 11. Let's see. 11 hundreds mean children, 1100. That means it has 1100. So we can see inside this thousand, inside this number, there are 1000. We cannot keep this thousand in this column because it belongs to thousands place. So we have to carry them into thousand place. Let's take them. Yes, we can write as one it is. Yes, I have written here number one. And then there are, you can see, there is another one in thousands place. Now how many digits number you have to have? There are three digits. One plus one. What is the answer? Answer is 3. Okay. My dear students, this is where we can do additions. There are three examples. Please complete your all the exercise in your study packs. Then uh, do some more additions at home. And then you can understand how are we going to do addition. Thank you and may God bless you.